The cradle of civilization is running dry. The Euphrates River, a lifeline for millions, is disappearing. What does this mean for Syria, a country already ravaged by war? Scientists warn of a future with less water, more conflict, and a potential mass exodus. But some see this as a fulfillment of an ancient biblical warning. We're diving deep into the drying Euphrates, exploring the devastating consequences, the potential future for Syria, and the eerie echoes from the past. Stay tuned. A cradle of civilization runs dry. The cradle of civilization. Mesopotamia, the Fertile Crescent, a land where humanity took its first steps towards great empires. But the lifeblood of this region, the mighty Euphrates River, is facing an existential threat. Its waters are receding, its banks cracking, and its future hangs in the balance. This isn't just a story of a drying river, it's a story of human resilience pushed to the brink. In Syria, a country already ravaged by war, the disappearing Euphrates threatens to unleash a new wave of devastation. A history of abundance. For millennia, the Euphrates has been a ribbon of life, carving a path through the heart of the Middle East. Its waters nourish vast fields of wheat, barley, and cotton, sustaining generations of farmers and forming the backbone of numerous empires. From the mighty Assyrians to the ancient Persians, civilizations thrived thanks to the Euphrates' bounty. But this history of abundance is now a fading memory. Climate change is wreaking havoc on the region, with rising temperatures and decreasing rainfall. Upstream, a network of dams in neighboring countries diverts a significant portion of the Euphrates' flow. The result? The river is drying up at an alarming rate. Data shows a dramatic decline in rainfall, leading to the lowest Euphrates flow ever recorded. A fallow harvest. The impact is most keenly felt in the fields that once flourished under the river's life-giving touch. Today, these lands bear the scars of a dying river. The rich, dark soil is now cracked and parched, a vast expanse of dust stretching as far as the eye can see. Crops wither and die, their leaves turning a sickly brown before crumbling to dust. Farmers who have cultivated these lands for generations now face an uncertain future. Their traditional farming practices, honed over centuries, are no longer adequate. The traditional knowledge passed down through generations seems powerless against the relentless drying. Their livelihoods and the very essence of their way of life are slowly disappearing with the river. A strangled economy. The withering of agriculture has a ripple effect throughout the Syrian economy. Food prices skyrocket as the once abundant harvests dwindle. Shops close due to lack of supplies, their shelves bare, a stark reminder of the fragile state of the Syrian economy. The burden falls heaviest on the shoulders of those already displaced by war, pushing them further into the abyss of poverty and despair. This economic crisis is yet another layer of suffering on a nation already battered by war. The question looms large. Can Syria, already on the brink, bear the additional weight of a disappearing river, a biblical echo, and a scientific reality? The drying Euphrates raises a chilling question. In the book of Revelation, the receding waters of the Euphrates are a harbinger of the coming apocalypse. Is this a mere coincidence, or are we witnessing a biblical prophecy unfold? While some see a divine message in the river's decline, others point to very real human-caused factors. Climate change, with its rising temperatures and erratic precipitation patterns, is undoubtedly a major culprit. Upstream dams significantly reduce the flow reaching Syria, disrupting the delicate ecological balance that has sustained the region for millennia. But regardless of interpretation, the drying Euphrates serves as a stark warning. It reminds us of the delicate balance between humanity and nature. For millennia, we have exploited the Earth's resources, taking its bounty for granted. Now, the Euphrates stands as a testament to the consequences of unchecked environmental degradation. A glimmer of hope. But amidst the despair, there flickers a glimmer of hope. Efforts are underway to address this crisis. Conservation programs aim to use water more efficiently with improved irrigation techniques and drought-resistant crops. Regional cooperation is also crucial. Negotiations between Syria and neighboring countries regarding water-sharing agreements are ongoing, with the aim of ensuring a more equitable distribution of this precious resource. The success of these efforts hinges on international cooperation and a collective commitment to sustainable water management. Investing in renewable energy sources can help mitigate the effects of climate change and reduce dependence on river water for electricity generation. A call to action. The future of the Euphrates and the fate of millions who depend on it rests in our hands. This ancient river, which has supported civilizations for thousands of years, is now facing unprecedented challenges due to climate change, over-extraction of water, and pollution. 
we must act decisively to address the root causes of this crisis. By demanding sustainable practices from our governments and industries, such as reducing water waste and controlling pollution, and by supporting organizations working on innovative solutions, we can help save the Euphrates. Subscribe to our channel for more in-depth coverage of the Euphrates crisis and potential solutions. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Leave a comment below and tell us what you think can be done. Till the next episode.